Welcome back. With the coffee market forever evolving, consumers are always searching for the next best thing to enjoy their cup of joe. Our reporter Sokina Alwalia explores the new single origin market and its soaring demands. For many, the scent of freshly brewed coffee is all it takes to wake up in the morning. Currently, more than 100 million bags of beans are consumed yearly, and the demand is expected to rise nearly 25% by 2020. Coffee roasters usually take pride in their house blend, combining single-origin beans from around the world to create a distinct flavor. But the latest buzz is in, and it's single-origin coffee, sourcing beans from one location, whether it's a country or a specific farm. The trend is not only offering consumers a special taste, it's also changing the way roasters approach coffee. With single origin, darker is not necessarily the better. Like roasting uh, can have a more complex flavor. The acidity, sour and sweetly, some floral, floral and the fruity, something like that. But if roasting until the more darker, the flavor can be simpler. It's like a normal, it's an ordinary coffee flavor. It's a chocolatey, bitter, sweet. The beans sourced from Indonesia are suitable for the single origin market because of its rich flavor profile. The beans can range from high to low acidity with deep earthy notes to light nutty notes. The trend for single origin coffee may be growing in Indonesia, but farmers are still finding it difficult to meet the country's increasing demand. Factors such as climate change and fluctuations in the global economy play a huge role in coffee production. Biasanya petani hanya memiliki uh, kebun uh, dengan kapasitas yang kecil. Nah, sehingga ketika ada kebutuhan untuk uh, permintaan yang banyak, biasanya mereka akan menyampur. Uh, di Indonesia infrastruktur masih bermasalah. Nah, ketika mereka ingin menjual, biasanya nggak bisa langsung. Harus ada middleman. Kemudian nanti di sana ada kemungkinan untuk dicampur juga, begitu. Dan kemudian akhirnya dijual dengan kopi Sumatera. Oke, okay, Sumatera dari Aceh sampai Lampung ya Sumatera begitu. Jadi kalau misalnya kita mau bicara single origin, uh, itu di satu sisi kesulitannya. On the positive side, single origin beans are fully traceable. Baristas such as Dodi are able to control the quality of the beans they source. Ketika saya ingin menggunakan kopi Sumatera, uh, saya harus mencari petani yang mana. Kemudian uh, akhirnya harus uh, kontak langsung dan melihat kondisi uh, di sana seperti apa. Dan ternyata masih banyak tergolong tradisional, sehingga untuk menghasilkan kualitas yang baik sedikit sulit. Dan akhirnya uh, mau nggak mau kolaborasi harus dilakukan begitu uh, dari sisi seluruh rantai distribusi dari petani, roaster hingga ke kafe. Uh, in a way, single origin coffee meets consumers' demands perfectly, especially those searching for freshly harvested coffee and endless options of brew method. Sulkina Aluwalia, MNC World News, Jakarta.